I'm Emily C. Brunrung and this is Cody Story and we're at Story Fitness. Today is workout, workout number, number 11, 11 of the Wednesday workout, workout series. series. So today we're going to incorporate a new tool. We're going to start using some dumbbells plus weave in some body weight exercises. Now workouts number 1 through 10, we only did just body weight exercises. Why? Well, it was so you can get familiar with your body, build a solid foundation, and have no excuses. I did them with you. I found it to be very challenging, even though it was only for 20 minutes, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you did too. So workouts number 11 through 20 is just gonna be a combination of both dumbbells and body weight exercises. Remember, we're here to help you lose weight, get fit, and feel confident. Now, let's get into today's timing protocol. Today's timing protocol is based on a 40-20, meaning 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest for four rounds. Your total running time is gonna be 20 minutes. You're gonna have five different moves from anywhere to one to three different levels of modification. Now let's get into today's movement progressions. Movement one, farmer's squat. Start from the top position, descend downward and find the depth of your squat. Root the hip back and keep the chest proud. As you return to the top position, drive your knees back until they lock, squeeze your glutes, tuck the tailbone, and knit your rib cage down. Movement two, level one, basic body weight squat. Start with your feet, shoulder width, slightly pointed outward. Descend down, find the bottom position for your squat. Keep your chest up, back flat. As you return to the top position, drive all the way up to leg lock, Squeeze the glutes, knit the ribs down. Movement two, level two, ball of foot squat. Same setup as level one. But now you're gonna drive out of the bottom of your squat all the way into the top position by driving through ball of foot. At the top, lock the legs. Again, extend the hip forward and squeeze the glutes and knit the rib cage down. Movement two, level three, jump squat. Same setup as level one and two but now it's an explosive plyometric movement. Once you leave the ground, be sure to lock the legs out in the air, extending the hip with glute activation. Return down with your legs soft like springs. Movement three, level one, basic hollow body hold. This is an isometric movement, so there will be no motion. Round your spine like a mad cat, tuck the tailbone. Squeeze the glutes and quads, lock the legs. Drive through the palms all the way to ball of foot, creating a closed chain of tension. Pack the shoulders, lock the elbows. Movement three, level two, hollow body shoulder tap. You've already established your movement platform with the hollow body hold. Now you're gonna bring your palm across the chest to your opposite shoulder. Resist rotation through the spine and pelvis while maintaining leg lock and shoulder pack. Movement four, level one, kneeling ellipse. Start in a child's pose position. Transition forward into a kneeling hollow body. Keep the elbows locked and the shoulders packed. Then descend downward, pinching the elbows into the rib cage while squeezing the glutes. Press back to child's pose. Movement four, level two, hollow body push-up. Now that you've really dialed in your hollow body, I want you to maintain it as you descend downward, pinching the elbows into the ribs, just like with your ellipse. But now you're gonna transition back to the top locking the elbows and keeping the shoulders packed. Movement four, level three, full hollow body push-up. Now the knees will not make contact with the ground, so keep your legs locked. Drive through ball of foot, keep the shoulders packed. As you descend downward again, pinch the elbows to the rib cage and return all the way back to elbow lock. Movement five, stagger row. Split your stance, keep your front shin vertical, knee over midfoot. Lock out your back leg, keep rear heel away from the floor. Square up your hip, lengthen the spine. Pull the dumbbell on an angle toward the hip and return to elbow lock position each rep. Let's get into today's Wednesday workout. It's a 40-20, remember, for four rounds. We just said it in the timing protocol, but it's about to go down. Are you ready, Emily? Ready. Is everybody at home ready? 15 seconds till we start getting your dumbbells Remember, you might need two pairs of bells. That way you can drop down if necessary. Five, four, three, two, one. Rock and roll. Get it. Move one, farmer's squad. 
squats. So if you're working into round three or four, if the weight that you selected, like I just said, was a little too much, feel free to drop down to a lighter weight when needed. 20 seconds in, 20 seconds to go. Short, sharp exhales on the effort. So you're either gonna inhale down, exhale up, or you're gonna exhale at the bottom and the top. You pick 10 seconds left in round one for farmer's squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, set the bells down safely. All right, so that was move one. You get a 20 second break. Move two, we're gonna be working off three different levels of progression. Emily is gonna do two to three reps of each level. Body weight squat, ball of foot squat, or jump squat. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Move to level one, basic body weight squat. Move to level two, ball of foot squat. 10 seconds in. Move to level three, jump squat. 20 seconds to go. Short, sharp exhales on the effort. If you're working on jump squats, it's all about moving those legs like springs and absorbing your body weight softly. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, time. All right, next move is gonna be a hollow body hold or a hollow body shoulder tap. Emily, if you're gonna be doing shoulder taps, go ahead, face me. But if you're doing the hold, you'll just be turning to the side. But for now, do whatever you want, actually. You can go whichever way you'd like. I'm just trying to make it for the people so they have a better view. So she's starting off with level two. If you saw the movement progressions, it's just a hollow body hold for level one. You can always, if it burns out, if you're working on the shoulder taps, just drop down into that hold for the rest of the time within whatever round you're working on. 20 seconds to go. Really resist any rotation if you're working on level two shoulder tap. So you're in that hollow body position, glutes are active, quads are active with leg lock, shoulders are packed out of the ears, resisting rotation. Time, stand up. All right, so now I want you to use the hollow body you just trained in movement three and now use it in movement four. You have three different levels of push-ups, starting with knee ellipse. Two to three rounds, Emily, and then move on to the other levels. At home, you can start with whatever level of progression you would like. Rock and roll, we're getting into round one still. So this is kneeling ellipse, level one for move four. Now she's gonna go into level two, hollow body knee push-up. Very nice, 20 seconds to go. All right, does she have a rep or two of the full hollow body push-up? Nice, she does. Where are you at home? Remember, work from where you're at. Regress at any time. That way you can focus on quality reps. 20 second break. Shake it out, grab a dumbbell for stagger row. Again, we're not using regressions for this move, it's just gonna be either bumping up the weight or decreasing the weight as needed. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. Even though this is a pulling exercise, it's just as important to have a strong frame with that back leg lock and a nice 90 degree elbow on the front arm and squeeze the fist on the arm that's not moving. You're gonna switch at the 20 second mark. Switch. Good, set up quick. Make sure you're stable before moving into your row. Again, nice strong frame. Front knee is over midfoot on front foot. Lots of foot words there. Foot, 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 foot. Five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead, move the dumbbell, actually, Grab another dumbbell going back to farmer's squat. One round complete, just warming up. The good news is you only have three more to go. After this one, you're halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, begin farmer's squat. 
So 40 seconds of work, quite a long time to be working with a very short rest period of 20 seconds. So you're gonna have to cruise and make sure you grab your dumbbells when needed and set them down safely as we go. 20 seconds in, 20 seconds to go. Farmer's squat. Find an appropriate pace for you. Either slow it down or speed it up depending on how your legs are feeling about this situation at hand. So close, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells out of the way, moving into jump squats. Always be sure to clear your space, especially if you're using dumbbells and you start jumping like we are with move two. Safety first. Then it's all about quality movement. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, where are you gonna work from at home? Is it level one, body weight squat, level two, ball of foot squat, or level three? A combination of all of them can be utilized. So you have pace to control your speed, right? You also have regressions for some of these moves. Use them wisely. 15 seconds left. Final 10 seconds. Good, remember with all your squats, chest up, and be sure to lock it out whether you're in the air or at the top of a basic body weight squat. Time, shake it out. All right, hollow body hold or shoulder tap hollow bodies. You pick. How we doing, heating up? Look at that smile. She's having fun already. Are you having fun at home? That's the question. Here we go, three, two, one. Emily's giving you a side view here so you can see the position of the spine. So it's a mad cat position, a tailbone tuck with active glutes and quads. Screw the arms into the ground, think elbow pits forward and pull the shoulder blades toward your hip. Driving through ball of foot and the palms, closing this circuit here and creating tension from the ankles to the wrists. This is what it's all about. If you want push-ups, hollow body style, you've got to develop a hollow body hold. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Go ahead, stand up, shake it out. I don't want you falling over on the floor and just hanging out on your back for your breaks. Keep the engine on, right? That's why you're gonna stand up, shake things out, and not just go to sleep. Keep the engine on, it takes less fuel to get back into the next round. Ready, begin. So, here's your push-up series. You have ellipse, kneeling push-up, or full hollow body push-ups, you pick. Short, sharp exhales through the core. Again, active glutes, you just primed the nervous system with movement three, now you're using that platform for movement four. 20 seconds in. Good, hold your form, regress as needed. And no headbutting your dumbbells. <laughs> so always be sure that those dumb dumbbells are way, way far away from you. I don't want you headbutting them. It just looked like it on camera, but she was still far enough away from them that it was safe. Just a little note of precaution. All right, she's starting on the left this time. Remember, you're switching at 20 seconds. Ready? Go, go, go. Good. There's no regression. Like I said, if you need to drop down or bump up the weight, do so and get ready to switch at that 20 second mark. Good, nice exhales, Emily. Nice and sharp exhales. Halfway, switch sides. Good, focus on that leg lock. Focus on that arm that's connected to the thigh. Make sure it's nice and strong. Tension, tension, tension. Five seconds to go, almost there. Time. All right, two rounds down. Grab both dumbbells for farmer squat. Stand up tall and shake it out. 50% through, only 50% to go. You have already climbed the hill and now we're walking down. It's still work, however. Ready, begin. Okay, so if you 
need to drop down in weight, do so. You need to bump it up, bump it up, and then you get a gauge how hard you need to work for today by utilizing whichever pace you need. Slow it down or speed it up, you pick. Train smart, halfway. Good, shoulders back, full lockout at the top. Your feet are only hip width. This is not a wide stance squat. It's not a goblet squat or a front squat. It's a farmer's squat. Three, two, final rep, one. Time, shake it out. Move those bells far away from you. I don't want you rolling an ankle or head butting those bells at all. All right, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Recover the heart rate, in through the nose, out through the mouth, slow, deep exhales. Three, two, one, begin. Movement two, body weight squat, ball of foot, or jump squat. If you've been working on the workouts from one to 10 so far, we're weaving some of those movements into your dumbbell program. I don't want you to throw those movements away. This is not for entertainment. This is for you to get good at skills and get strong within the skill sets. Ten seconds to go. Level one, two, or three here. Five, hold your form. Four, three, two, one. Finish out that last rep, even if the buzzer goes off and you're halfway in the movement. Always finish the moves out. All right, shake those arms out. Back to recovery, breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth, deep exhales to the bottom of the belly. All right, is she gonna be working on hollow body holds or shoulder taps? Oh, she's going for the shoulder tap. So again, at home, remember to prioritize the position of your spine and prioritize tension. If you're working on shoulder taps, really push through the shoulder blades, which we call protraction of the scaps, and make sure that the shoulders are packed down out of the ears and resist rotation. That's the name of the game here. Nice work, responsible push here. Once you're done with this round today, you'll be 75% through the workout. Last rep, time, stand up. Okay, recover the breathing, calm it down. Even though it's a little chaotic and kind of like a storm, find the calm within the storm. Smooth, steady, and chill. Five seconds till we go. Knee ellipse, knee push up or full hollow body push up. Move four, round three. Short, sharp exhales on the effort. Good, with all your push up variations, pinch the elbows into the rib cage and focus on glute activation. Squeeze the glutes. 20 seconds to go. Nice exhales. Focus on your form, 10 seconds left. Almost there. 20 second break on the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, stand up, shake it out. 20 seconds to recover. Be smart with your recovery. Oh, she needs a towel. There you go. You're welcome. If you need a towel at home, go ahead and towel off. Five seconds till we go. Back into stagger row, switching at the 20 second mark and begin. Nice long spine here. Nice strong back leg, vertical front shin. 10 seconds in on this side. Good news is you get to switch arms. Pulling slightly on an angle toward the hip with a straight wrist. Switch, set up, stable and strong. Rock and roll, long spine. Final 10 seconds for your stagger row, round three. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Stand up, shake it out, three down, final round. This goes quick. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes. Remember, this is all about general physical preparedness. We want you to have a nice base and support system for your life. Three, two, one, 
Nice flat back here, chest tall. Proud chest is what we say. One rep at a time. The good news is you're almost done with your workout. Last round here. Just going down to your personal depth. 20 seconds to go. Resisting allowing the knees to cave in. I want the knees tracking the feet, chest tall. 10 seconds left. Getting closer. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good, safely set those bells down and far away from your workout zone. All right, going into Move two for round four, jump squat variations. Body weight squat, ball of foot, or jump. Five, four, three, two, one, go, go, go. Good, so Emily's depth on her body weight squats is a lot deeper than the farmer squats, and that is A-okay. -O if I can spell or speak, that would be a good thing. Short, sharp exhales. All right, 20 seconds to go. Hold your form. 10 seconds. Level one, two, or three. Down shift, up shift as needed. Three, two, one, last rep. Time, shake it out. All right, moving into the hollow body options, whether it's hollow body hold, or shoulder tap, level one or two here. Still got nine seconds to recover. Short, sharp, or short, sharp exhales. Slow, deep exhales. Now we can get back into short, sharp exhales as needed. Even if you're working on hollow body hold, continue to breathe. The breaths are gonna be longer now because you're working on an isometric. You don't have to go into those short, sharp exhales because you're not moving. So now control your exhales, exhales even though you're still working. 20 seconds to go. Remember, even though Emily's working on a hollow body hold, you could be working on your shoulder tap right now. Customize these programs to fit you. Final five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Okay, stand up for us, stand and shake. Shake and recover your breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We still have 10 seconds in through the nose, out through the mouth. The better recovered you are, the better performance you can give. Ready, set, go. Good, what progression are you gonna work on? What's your pace? Listen to your body. Last time you're here today. These workouts go by so fast. Okay, 20 seconds. Last time you're here, final 20 seconds on this movement. Level one, two, or three, which one you working on? 10 seconds. And three, two, one, time. Stand and shake, grab your dumbbell for stagger rows, and then continue to recover. Which side are you gonna work on? Okay, here we go. Ready, five seconds till we begin. Four, a little extra credit over there, huh, Emily? Three, two, one, go, go, go. She's like, ah, my left arm is strong. I got this. I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm gonna give myself a little bonus on my right leg and my left arm. 10 seconds to go, then we switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Last 20 seconds for the workout. Rock and roll. What's your pace? 10 seconds left. Hold strong. And three, two, one. Time. Okay, stand tall, breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth, if you need a towel, grab a towel. And now let's calm it down. That was only a 20 minute workout. Total body, a combination of dumbbells and body weight training. And once you're done, remember to go back to in through the nose, 
and exhaling out through the mouth and try to slow down your exhales as slow as you possibly can. If your legs burn, shake them out. If your arms burn, shake them Ooh, out. That was an amazing workout. Give yourself a pat on the back because we trained together today. You took care of yourself and you got your body moving. If you have any questions or feedback, fill it out in the comment section below. Click like, subscribe, and share this with your friends and family. We will see you in the next Wednesday workout.